Hey folks, welcome back to the Gearhead Fellowship channel, a uh, place where we do car modifications and try to track improvements in performance and reliability. And today we're going to continue with our 204 hour transmission rebuild. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff in the process so far, and we're actually going back into the case now, putting material, putting the gear train back inside the transmission and going through what that looks like. So come along. We've got the low reverse clutch housing, tail input shaft, and the uh, the low reverse uh, piston in place. We've got our uh, forward and direct drums all down inside, along with the center support. For those that know, that's that's these bolts right here. That's already in place. Everything's been clearanced. I think we're at about five thousandths on my rear assembly. Um, you got three main sections inside the transmission. You've got your your tail section assembly, it might be a little bit easier to kind of explain on the side here. You got your tail section assembly up to about here, and then you got your mid um, section with your forward and direct drums, and then you've got your front with your fourth carrier uh, and overdrive in the front. And each clear each section has to be clearanced properly uh, to prevent binding or anything. And so you want your your rear clearance and your front clearance uh, to all be uh, a little bit less than your central clearance, and they all need to be within certain tolerances. We're at five thousandths on our uh, low reverse and tail shaft system. And then we're at about 9 thousandths on our center section uh, with the uh, forward and direct drums and the planetaries there. And then we've got to still set the clearance on the front side. And so that's where we're at right now. As you look down here, you can actually see everything inside the transmission. Right now, you're actually looking down right into the um, fourth internal gear, this billet internal gear and this just sitting in here I'll go ahead and pull this out and there's the center support right there so you can see we got the center support in this is the rollerized center support we've got a, a roller bearing came out on the back of the billet uh, that actually sits right in there so that's part of the rollerized system to help really decrease and this green stuff you see here that's the assembly goo that we've got if you look down you can see that silver stuff in between in the uh, relief holes of the center support that's the uh, forward drum that was the piece that was so worn on the, when I pulled everything apart and we've got our fourth piston here uh, already installed as well so <clears throat> I just want to show that to you that's where we're at in the build um, and drop this back in here it slides right back down in um, We've already done some other checks and such, so I want to show you how we, we can do some air checks on the transmission. Uh, something else we've also finished is, since we've got our center support in, we've also got our band assembly, okay? Our band assembly along with our billet uh, Pro Street Servo, it's in here. It's supposed to have the biggest supply area of any available servo out there, and this was one from CK Performance, more than the Superior or anything else that's available. So, you know, when we're going down the road, how I understand this, um, especially with the full manual, uh, you've got certain things that will be engaging. And when we shift into first gear, we should have the forward clutch apply in the center section, and we should have our low reverse clutch pack apply, which you can see way back here. There's the low reverse clutch pack right there. And so if we put compressed air right into this hole right here, we should be able to see that low reverse clutch pack apply. You can see I've got my air blower right in that hole. Watch what happens. So you can see the piston come down and, and apply. So there's first gear. When we shift into second, second gear should release the low reverse clutch and then apply the band. Band is over here. That was direct and forward over there. So direct, uh, band apply is on the piston on the servo over here. So. That's actually applying on the band. You can't see it inside the transmission, but you can hear it. And then we've got our we've got our direct, our forward, and then our fourth, which you can actually see up here. Watch this. See that? Try that again. That piston pop up that applies fourth gear and it's slowly leaking air out when you shift into fourth you apply hydraulic pressure up that hole and that piston pops up and gives you fourth gear so that's where we're at we still got to finish 
setting up uh, the fourth billet uh, overdrive uh, carrier and getting the clearance set on the back of the pump and that goes in and then the next step is going to be getting this whole thing covered up with that um, full manual valve body some folks have been asking about the full manual side of things and that'll be coming up in our next video we got our uh, fourth clutch steels ready to go in and we've got our fourth clutch um, clutch plates the fiber plates actually soaking you want to soak those in, in transmission fluid for at least 30 minutes uh, these, this is going to be an upgrade. Uh, also, I failed to mention that, uh, that that piston has been modified. The normal stock 204R takes two frictions and three steels. Well, if you, if you get a modified piston there with a little bit different clearance, you can actually put three frictions and three steels. So you actually get 50% uh, more friction area into fourth gear, which, uh, you know, is going to be great for holding at wide open throttle and dealing with fourth gear there. So uh, we're making that upgrade, of course. And so now I've got to stack these in here and get my input shaft and fourth carrier put in. And uh, at that point, it's just setting the clearance on the pump. As you can see, we've got the uh, fourth clutch uh, system in the oil deflector along with the output shaft. All this is in and secured. And uh, I'm, I'm not in a position really to set the pump clearance but I was going to kind of show you exactly how we do that so some of the tricks that I've found out basically what we need to do is set the pump down in here and torque it to spec with the gasket in place and set a dial indicator on the input shaft and see how much play we have and um, all that's managed with intolerance on this thrust washer this big plastic thrust washer as you can see here on the back of the pump that you've seen they come in different colors and different thicknesses so you can get them with intolerance and the yellow one was just the one that was in the transmission when i tore it down so i got to figure out if that'll work or if i need to get a different one um so how to how, a technique that i've come across on how to do this is to get a cup a pair of um, m8 by uh 10 or m8 by 1.25 metric bolts that are at least three inches long or longer and cut the heads off of them to make dowel pins like you see here. So once you got that, then you'll take the gasket and you lay that down in the right position. Uh, one of the recommendations by a lot of these trans builders is to treat both sides of the gasket with like an oil-based uh, penetrant, like so that you uh, it doesn't stick, uh, but it'll still seal. And so we'll do that when time comes. And then you take the pump and actually slide it down into position, much like so. so let me get the pump kind of indexed right, and you can see how it will go down in there. And you know, it would wiggle around, it would slide down into position, and then you would put at least two bolts in, torque them to 18 uh, foot-pounds. Once you got it all torqued, then you'd come in and set a dial indicator up to go ahead and um, measure off the actual thrust uh, for the system similar to this so let's I could bring that on down you know we'd be able to get that on over into position and get the dial indicator set up you might say well where's your dial indicator Herb well that's the problem waiting on one to come in right now but you would set this up and then you would grasp the output shaft very gingerly with a pair of vice grips and pull up to check out the clearance, the, the thrust clearance. So uh, and measure it with intolerance against your dial indicator. And if it's not right, get a different size uh, washer to make up the adjustment. So we'll be going through that part of the process to set that third system, the, the, the front system thrust, if you will, behind the pump. And that's going to set that clearance up. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's installment uh, as we finish the process. You know, we've come a long way with the 200, tore it all down, um, rebuilt the pump, did some custom things to the pump. We redid the everything in the gear train from the back to the front, the low reverse clutch housings, the billet pistons, the billet forward drum, the new direct drum, all the clutches and steels, air checked everything, um, all the other billet components that are going on. And uh, as we draw this thing to a close, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really kind of film the whole install process, but you can check out the guys at Performa Built Transmissions. 
they have got a little bit more resources and they've got some great camera footage down inside the case while a guy's rebuilding the transmission. You can see all the parts going in and all the clips and all that stuff. So highly recommend that resource. It's a great uh, uh, watch uh, thing to watch to, to go ahead and learn how to do this. And uh, appreciate you joining us today. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. Um, if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. Give me a comment. Tell me your thoughts. What would you like to see? What, what do you think we should do? And uh, next time, we're going to be working inside here, installing a full manual valve body from TCI and getting the governor and everything else set up inside here. And that's just about it before we can go ahead and put this thing back in the car. So thanks for joining us. See you soon.